Welcome to Med Madness. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of adrenal steroids and congenital adrenal hyperplasias. This topic is crucial for understanding endocrine physiology and pathology, especially for your USMLE exams. Let's get started. This diagram illustrates the biosynthesis of adrenal steroids. The process begins with cholesterol, which is converted into various hormones in the adrenal cortex. Each step involves specific enzymes, which we'll explore in detail. First, cholesterol is converted to pregnenolone via cholesterol desmolase, the rate-limiting step stimulated by ACTH. Pregnenolone can follow three main pathways, mineralocorticoid, glucocorticoid, and androgen synthesis. Let's look at each pathway. In the mineralocorticoid pathway, pregnenolone is converted to progesterone, then to 11-deoxycorticosterone via 21-hydroxylase, and finally to aldosterone. In the glucocorticoid pathway, pregnenolone is converted to 17-hydroxyprogesterone, then to 11-deoxycortisol via 21-hydroxylase, and finally to cortisol. In the androgen pathway, pregnenolone is converted to dehydroepiandrosterone, DHEA, and then to androstenedione, which can be further converted to testosterone and estradiol. Congenital adrenal hyperplasias result from enzyme deficiencies in these pathways. The most common is 21-hydroxylase deficiency, leading to an accumulation of 17-hydroxyprogesterone and an overproduction of androgens. Patients with 21-hydroxylase deficiency often present with ambiguous genitalia in females, early virilization in males, and potential salt-wasting crises due to aldosterone deficiency. Treatment involves glucocorticoid and mineralocorticoid replacement to reduce ACEH stimulation and correct hormonal imbalances. Monitoring and adjusting therapy is crucial for managing symptoms and preventing complications. To summarize, understanding the adrenal steroid pathway and the impact of enzyme deficiencies is essential for diagnosing and managing congenital adrenal hyperplasias. Remember the key enzymes and their roles in hormone synthesis. Now let's test your knowledge with a USMLE style question. A three-year-old girl presents with ambiguous genitalia and hyponatremia. Laboratory tests reveal elevated 17-hydroxyprogesterone levels. Which enzyme is most likely deficient in this patient? Comment your answer below. A th Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow USMLE aspirants. For more in-depth content, visit our website at medmadness.co. Stay tuned for our next video.